What's going on guys? Back at my buddy George's house for another sick green tree python and emerald tree boa video. Been getting a lot of people asking me to upload one of these videos, so I'm gonna upload another one for you guys. Start off, this is a male Amazon Basin emerald tree boa. The difference between emerald tree boas or Amazon basins and northerns is Amazon basins, they're a lot more rare in the states and they have this full dorsal stripe that connects all the lightning bolts. So I'll show you guys all, all the emerald tree boas first and then I'll move into the green tree python room. This guy's probably about four years old now. They also have a different head than northern emerald tree boas. They have smaller scales on their head. You guys, look at the head on this guy, and I'll show you a northern emerald tree boa in a second so you can compare the scales. This is another Amazon Basin Emerald Tree Boa. This one's probably a year older, maybe two years older than the other one. Once again, he's got this full stripe. These guys are known to be a lot more docile than the Northern Emerald Tree Boas. And they also get a little bit bigger This right here is the biggest emerald tree boa my buddy has. This is a northern or a Suriname variant. This thing's actually pretty big. It's massive. <laughs> See how they don't have the full stripe that connects all these like the other ones? They're broken up more. This guy is, I believe he was born in 2012. So he's about four or five years old. Now this one right here is the product of breeding a Northern Emerald Tree Boa to a cross of an Amazon Basin and a Northern. So she's 75% Northern and 25% Amazon Basin. It's produced by Marcial Mendez. And what, the, what this um, pairing does is he tried to add the white all the way up to the head. Northerns, <clears throat> just plain Northerns, they have a lot of white towards the tail. But then up here towards the neck and the head, it doles out and it's almost black, but when you mix it with the Amazon Basin in there, you get white all the way up to the head, which is awesome. And you get a, a whole different head. She has like a, a mix between both. She's got the large scales in the front of her nose right there, just like Northerns have. And then a bunch over here in the top of the head. So it's pretty cool that you can see both both uh, lo localities or subspecies in one animal. This right here is probably my favorite uh, northern emerald tree boa I've ever seen. She's really, really high white. I picked her out for my buddy from about 10 different emeralds and she put the other ones to shame by far.
She's just really white compared to most of the other ones you see around. There's one more emerald. This is an anaconda phase emerald tree boa. It's almost patternless. The anaconda phase, they just have these little spots on them instead of the lightning bolts. It's right in between patternless and, and ones that have pattern. really different looking from the Amazons and the Northerns which is it's always cool to change it up That's all the emerald tree boas. Now I'll show you guys all the green tree pythons. This girl right here had a little bit of a dry shed, but it should come off. I'm gonna gotta remove it from her. But this is in a, a Jayapira Aru, so it's 50-50. It's a Jayapira crossed with an Aru. You could see both characteristics. You got the spotting from the Aru, the white spotting. And if you look close, you got the blue dorsal stripe that the Jayas have. So you could see both, once again, both localities in one animal. It's pretty cool. This right here is one of my favorite ones he's got. Another female. This is a Biak crossed with an Aru. You see all the white, the white scales from the Aru showing through. And obviously the high yellow from the Biak. I love how they look when they're young, before they turn all green. They still look good when they're adults, but I wish they kept that yellow into adulthood. <clears throat> this is an Aru. Just starting to go through its color change. After its color change, it'll be emerald green with a bunch of white scales down its body. Arus are known to be one of the more tame localities out of green tree pythons. This right here is a Aru mixed with a Maroc. Actually, this is a Jaya 
mixed with a Maroc. You can see the blue on the dorsal from the Jaya and the white flecking from the Maroc. It's another female. Here's a sarong male. It's a pure sarong. They're known for the blue down the dorsal stripe, similar to the Jayapira. Just a little bit more different of a the pattern. It's more thick when it comes out in these little teardrops. Sarongs are probably my favorite locality of green tree pythons just because they're so docile and they always have such a nice blue on them. Last but not least, this girl just had a dry shed so we're fogging her out so we can get this skin off. This is a Maroc. Another female. A little bit of blue spotting down the sides with the yellow. Lime green, similar to a sarong. Or, I'm sorry, the emerald green. So that's all the tree snakes my buddy's got. Watch my older videos. I have videos of when they were younger so you could see how much they've grown over the past couple years any questions let me know guys subscribe if you haven't see you later